Hey y'all, welcome back to Hans Von, where today we're going to be going over some of the new Pokemon Go sets. And I know uh, they're not totally new, but I've been opening them like crazy, and I needed a new Radiant Eevee set for another one of the game mats, and I'd love to go over one of the ETBs with y'all as well. So let's get into it. So first off, again, we have an ETB with the Mewtwo on it. Ten packs inside. You can find them regularly now for around $45. So I think that's a great pickup for these. As you know, they are a limited uh, release. They're a middle set. So between uh, Astral Radiance and Lost Origins. Um, so I would definitely pick these up if you can. Because not only do they have a ton of Mewtwo's who's super popular... Uh, but they also have those Radiant cards, and they are beautiful, and you know, like, there might be a lot right now, and there might be a surplus right now, but you know in the future those are popular. Those People always come back to those as we get older, as our demographic ages, we're going to have more money, more ability to go out and collect, and that, po that doesn't wane as we do that. I mean, that's just, I think it's pretty safe to get into these Shining Fates other limited releases so again that's like 450 a pack and you get the Mewtwo promo in this i mean that's that's a pretty good deal and then you have the radiant eevee boxes you know there's less packs in these i think there's only eight in here um total yep eight booster packs and then you have the radiant eevee card which as you know from the japanese releases that was a pull from the actual japanese cards uh but here they decided to release it as a promo which is pretty cool honestly you know i mean it's not like you if you open up a bunch you're going to get some but it's uh, it's always there and you get a nice little pin and a game mat in this which is like really cool and i gave one to my wife and i wanted one for myself i don't know about y'all but pokemon go is like a pretty special place in my heart Back in 2016, uh, I was in Ohio, and I had a big group of friends who were really into it. And I remember one day, I literally walked a marathon, uh, and I got over 50,000 steps on my Fitbit at the time just to, to hatch as many eggs as possible. And it was just really fun, and I, and I worked near an area that had a ton of Pokestops. So I'd just go on my lunch breaks and walk and catch Pokemon, and it was probably one of the most active times, like, legitimately, like, full daily activity like I work out a bunch uh not recently uh but uh, have all my life and but never have I think I come close to the like six to seven miles I'd walk a day for like that whole year uh, I got back into it back in 2019 as well uh, I was traveling a lot for work so I go to all these different places I had friends all over the world because of the work I'm in so I get these eggs from Japan I would get them from uh, I don't know even over in Europe Germany Britain you know, and, and everywhere across the United States. So it really made me feel connected uh, when I was separated. And, you know, I, it, I tried to pick it back up in the pandemic, but I don't know. I just haven't had a group of friends that I've really latched onto about it because it's really about a community-driven thing. And I just haven't really felt that where I currently live. But uh, I am very nostalgic for it, uh, very nostalgic for the raids, finding, like, a shiny Groudon in one and trying to catch it desperately with uh, all of your the, like, premier balls that you get from the, the kudos you earn during the raid. Uh, but we can get back into the opening the packs now. Uh, let me know if you guys have any other fun memories of Pokemon Go uh, that you found in the past, what, six years now that it's been out. That's crazy. All right, so we can get into it. Here is the ETB. Again, sealed up here. We can go ahead and uh, break that off. Back over there. My dogs are playing in the background. I apologize. They are very large and very loud, so I do not have a soundproof room. I am utilizing the extra bedroom in my house that I rent. Uh, but uh, we can slide this on out. And again, I always thought this really cool that if you open this up, and I know this is probably the most common knowledge in the world, but I don't know. I feel like someone can make some pretty cool artwork out of patching all of these together but when you open this up and it has all of the pack artwork on it and I just think that that's really cool and a really nice touch to things. One thing I really wanted to get into is somehow finding <laughs> how to get the Pokemon Center ones, uh, the specials. Uh, again, here's the book with all the different cards in it. Um, that's nice to keep to check out. But finding the Pokemon Center versions of these things because I'm pretty new to this still. But that's something that I want to be able to find a way and help you all 
find a way that's more consistent with finding special packs, finding things that wholesale value, because it's so hard for someone who is living kind of normal day-to-day -day things with families, with work, with all of that to find tip-offs for things so you can find something affordably and something that's really cool, really cool products, especially like, I, I don't know, I, I do like the, the Lost Origins ETB just normally that's coming out, but the Pokemon Center ones, it's already sold out. Like I feel like maybe I don't track it well enough, but uh, let me know if you all have any tips or tricks on how to find some things that we can share with each other and get that across. But we can go ahead and open this. Again, we got 10 packs right here, 65 energy cards, the Mewtwo sleeves, we got the dice, the V-Star. Eh, I have like a hundred of these now. And then the damage markers, got the dividers. Pull this out. Here is the beautiful, oh man, the light is reflecting it. Beautiful Mewtwo V. Uh, it's got like that cool texture and it like radiates out from this point here. And I really like cards that have unique uh, backgrounds as well as hollows. So I don't know. I just, I love Mewtwo cards. So <laughs> this one's pretty cool for me. Not worth very much right now. It's like a dollar fifty, but pick one up if you don't want to spend 45 on one of these. Uh, here's a code card for the box. And here are all the sleeves. And I really like these sleeves, but my one complaint is glossy sleeves that they have. And I, I don't know if it started with Shining Fates, but that's the first time I noticed it. And they, not that I, I, I actually prefer the feel of these over the other sleeves that they give, but they, they just take away a lot of the visual of the card when you put them in there. And I don't really appreciate that, but I get it might be safer, it might be cheaper. I'm not really sure what the call was on that, but I've seen them a lot more frequently now. And, you know, uh, cool artwork on the back. I like doing that, but I do like to appreciate my cards while they're protected and viewable. So, yeah, maybe we can make a trade and get some glossy ones back in there instead of the, the matte ones, but... Maybe I'm asking for too much. But again, that's it for the box. Put that off to the side. And I realized in my last video, I kept like all of the cards like right here, right in view. So I'm gonna try to avoid that this time uh, and get them off screen. So we have 10 packs here. I really like these cards. I'm still searching for pretty much all of the hyper rare rainbow cards. I have both the alternate artworks of the Conkledur and the uh, Mewtwo, and I have three Mewtwo V-Stars. Uh, and I think the only full art I'm missing uh, is the Conkledur as well. I have Dragonites and all the others. But I don't have any of the secret, uh, sorry, the Hyper Rare Trainers, but I do have the, Poke the Incubator, Egg Incubator Secret Rare. So I'm looking for the Lure Module as well. So I still think this set is going to go down and, and be viewed much like the Detective Pikachu set is, you know, where it's a crossover of a different form of media, but it's not released that much and people kind of get down on it while it's out. But now you look at Detective Pikachu packs, there's what, four cards in a pack and they're 11 bucks. I could easily see something like that happening with this, you know, but that's why I think these are such a great value right now at the price they're at. But we can break into it. Yeah, I got these for 45 bucks. Well, I got this one at Target for 50, but I'm, I, f I have three more that I'm keeping for my own self um, that I got $45 on eBay, and that's not requiring a bulk purchase at all. So all of these have a rare in the, a hollow in them, so no need for that. I guess I'll show you the code card so you all can have it. Uh, I'll do the card trick here, yeah. I, I don't know, let's just have it at this point. They got some bends in the corners of these cards. So we'll see if that has any impact. Uh, if I pull something big, uh, lightning energy, hammer up, regular egg incubator, war turtle. I really like the little Pokemon Go symbol here. I love when cards have that. I mean, much like when you have the staff releases, like the staff release Charizard with the vivid voltage on it. I don't know. I just like that little extra piece on there that uh, goes above and beyond just the little signal in the bottom left. But Numel, I still don't have the Numel Ditto either, so that'd be cool to get. Raticate, Tranquil, a Reverse Hollow Chansey, and it looks like we got a Snorlax Hollow. 
he's sleeping. No one's getting out of that house anytime soon. Let's pop on into the second one here. So I know, I think, I think the gold Mewtwo is the most valuable card out of this set right now, right around $55 to $60. Wrong, it is still the alt art Mewtwo. I have no idea what I'm talking about. I really just effed this up bad, but we'll just try to pull it out of there. Here's the code card for y'all. Um, but I am happy with just the alt art Mewtwo. <laughs> I, don't, I don't need anything else. I really just wanted that card. But I love opening these up anyway because those are ridiculous as well. So here it is, the Mewtwo alt art I said I'd show in the last video. Uh, looks like it's in great condition. Definitely great centering. Probably going to be sending it off to graded. Probably at BGS. Um, it's probably my favorite card of the set. One of my favorite cards of all time. So definitely want it to keep forever for my collection. Fighting Energy, Chansey, Ivysaur, and Pheasant, Bidoof. You look an evil there. He's evil. Charmander, Apom, Bulbasaur, Pydub. Uh, Tyranitar, though, my boy. I love Tyranitar so much. And this is such a cool card where he's like standing on a volcanic explosion. You know, pretty cool. And then we got a Gyarados, which this is a fantastic, fantastic art. I don't know. It's, it's just beautiful to me. I, I wish it came like that in an alternate art because that would be, I, I don't know, I feel like that would have been a really popular card. Uh, just him coming out of like a sewer drain in the middle of the city, just like bursting up and all that water particulate that could have been uh, detailed with hollow, but maybe in a future set we can get something like that. Doubt it. <laughs> coming on into the third pack. Oh yeah, last set, I, last ETB I opened, I also I got a Mewtwo V Star with the Mewtwo Full Art, so I feel like <laughs> I'm all out on luck. But we'll see if this one has anything in store for us. For, oh no, this has a terrible bend on the corner, and on all of them. Ooh, none of these have very good. Come on, Target, Fire Energy, Pokestop, Moon Pheasant, Rare Candy, Charmander, Apom, Bulba. Bit of Onyx, Spark. Hey, it's my boy. I'm Team Instinct, by the way. I got clowned on for it for so long, but guess what? Spark is the man. I fight anyone who, who thinks differently. And he's the most valuable card, too, of the Alt Art Trainers. I mean, not, excuse me, not Alt Art, but uh, this is Secret Rare Trainers. So. No! And we got a Blissey on top of a gym. Man, but I struggle as Team Instinct, man. Like, I told myself I wasn't going to do that. wasn't going to put him there. And guess what I did? I put him right there. But I struggled as Team Instinct. Everyone was Team Mystic. Uh, or uh, why am I blanking on Candela's team? Uh, but no one was Team Instinct. It was just me. And everyone else was like, oh, you're a loser spark. And I had to, like, fight for my life. I'm fighting for my life at the gyms just to get a semblance of like time and hope that I could break one out just before a raid started so I could get the extra Pokeballs to try. But, you know, I think we've made a comeback. I haven't played in a few years, but it's, uh... oh, these cards feel weird. They have like ridges on them. That's, I've never felt something like that before. But Psychic Energy, Rare Candy, Slow Bro. Man, he is slow. He's still staring off, thinking about everything in his life. Lunatone, Slow Poke, he's fishing. A barrel. I thought, I legitimately thought when I first pulled this card that it was like a funny Smeargle one because I don't know if you know this, but in Pokemon Go, you have to, uh, I don't know if you can see that, in Pokemon Go, you have to take pictures of your Pokemon. Uh, and then in some of them, Smeargle shows up in the photo and that's how you get him. And it was such a unique mechanic. And I remember I have literally thousands of pictures of my Pokemon in like AR in my living room. And I was never able to get him and I just gave up out of frustration. But I thought this was a really nice callback to that. Uh, and I thought it was going to be something special. Like, oh my God, that's the Barrel card with the Smeargle on it. But nope. No, every single one. Yeah, Pikachu. He chilling. He got Buddy Bolcha. Spin Rack. Red Tata. Reverse Hollow Bulbasaur and a Zapdos, my favorite legendary bird of the original three. Not what I'm looking for though. Come on in. 
I once made a joke in a Pokemon Go subreddit. I don't think it it was a RuneScape joke because if you didn't know, in RuneScape, I play old school RuneScape. Uh, that's 99, oh, 92 is half of 99, meaning that the experience it takes to get to 92 is halfway to 99. And I made a joke similar to that in Pokemon Go that like 32, level 32 was halfway to 40, which was the max level at the time. And no one got it and I felt like a loser. And I'm probably a loser still for explaining that. But, <laughs> uh, yeah, it was pretty fun. Oh, the centering on that card is way off. Good thing that is not, oh, that one's not very good either. All of these have a bend like right in the corner i don't know if y'all can see that but it's like a bend right here and i don't like that but what are we gonna do metal energy candela lunatone ivysaur wimpod pikachu squirtle badoof meltan the wrong lure module i want <laughs> the gold and a tyranitar regular with the vertical hollow pattern you know I can't ever say no to a Tyranitar. I'm keeping every single one of them, but uh, buddy, that's not what we're really here for. All right, I think that's halfway. Yep, we got five more, and then we'll break into the Radiant EV box. I'll go a little faster now. Uh, I got lots of stories, but we can, uh, I'll forgo the card trick from here on out. I don't want this to be too long. So let's start off with Eradicate, Tranquil, Natu. I'm not gonna ask how you're doing, but you know, you know. Larvitar. I love how he's got the golden raspberry. It's just really cute to me. Uh, Ambipom, Reverse Hollow Slowpoke, and ah, oh, Conkleder V. My guy. He's there. He's square, and he's ready to hit you with a, <laughs> I don't know, his pair. But that's what it is. There's the code card. I have like 10 of those. But Slacking V is my nemesis in this set. And if I pull him, I'm going to be very upset. He's like my mime in this case, as PokéRev might say. Although his was Melmetal, I think, in this set that he was getting upset at. But I just said I wasn't going to do this. But there's the code card. And we'll pop on in this way without doing the card trick. Oh, I saw something. Oh my gosh, I still see it. Slowpoke, the Barrel, Spinarak, Pidove. <sighs> Zatu and Dragonite V-Star! Hell yeah! It's my second one. Uh, not the Rainbow Rare, but still a beautiful card. Dragonite is a classic. Bring him on up here. Lovely to see. Uh, I can probably put him over there. I'll put him in a sleeve. And nothing else in there. Bring you guys. Put you up there. Get a sleeve up for him. Sweet. Here we go, Draconic Star. Look at the top 12 cards of your deck and attach any number of water or lightning energies you find there to your Pokemon in any way you like. You know, that's one thing that's, I don't know. I, I Like I said, I never played the TCG firmly before, but just besides the Game Boy game. And I always found it funny, there's like a waiting area. And if you're unfamiliar, I know he's shown up in some of the, the Pokemon games, but Imakuni was always in there. And I always as a kid, I was so entranced by why he was just chilling there and also need one to battle you and he gave you some of the best cards in the game uh there you go code card uh but it, it was that always made me laugh as a kid but uh i think i have like there's in kuni's executor i'm kuni's dodrio those things in the tcg now but I, i'm really glad that those made a comeback but barrel slowpoke badoof pokestop and a hollow blast same we got a v-star those over there. I think we have two left here, and then we'll pop on into the EV Radiant EV pack. There's your code card. If anyone plays online, can you let me know? Because I have so many code cards, and I feel like that'd be a good way to get introduced to it. Um, and they're... I, I don't know, some people sell them in bulk. I just would rather use them for fun things to do or give them away to anybody who wants them. Uh, but I have thousands, so if anybody wants them, please let me know. I can send you like a hundred or so just so, so I can spread the wealth if anybody else wants them. Uh, and I can choose any set you want that I have. But there you go. Eradicate, Tranquil, Larvitar, not too, Ambipom. Maltrace says, you better subscribe or I'm giving you the side eye for the reverse rare and a Mel Metal. 
Pyrangi and a rare candy. Look over there, last set from this box. So, you know, hasn't been a great box. We did get the Dragonite V-Star. We'll see what this last pack has for us. Hopefully something good. If not, is what it is. Move on to the other ones. There's the code card. Ah. I'm having trouble getting this to focus, and the O-ring is not helping with the reflectivity of the cards. So I apologize. Um, if I get some equipment upgrades, maybe that'll go away. But Squirtle, Spinarak, Wimpod, Larvitar, Numel, taking a nap, Bedove, Galisapa. Okay. You know, not too shabby. We got a decent card, had some fun opening them, and now we can break into the Radiant Eevee box. There he is, chilling. He happy. We're happy. Got him opening up. Another funny story about Pokemon Go. Obviously, Pokemon has licensed their name out for that game. Huge AR development that Niantic has developed and implemented. And it's honestly gone like really well for a launch of something of that scale. It had trouble on the first couple days. I remember waiting to log in a million, million minutes. But holy cow, it's got some blue on it. One second. I remember waiting so long to be able to get in just so I could open stuff, like go walk around and get some Pokestops, find some Pokeballs to catch some stuff around my house. But they worked on it pretty quickly and found a really good way to, to they optimized it very well. But the funny thing about it is that people didn't realize that the Pokemon company didn't make Pokemon Go. It was Niantic. Um, and here are the Pokemon Go, if anyone is interested in these. Um, and the codes there. And Nintendo stock after Pokemon Go released went up 25%. And as soon as people realized it wasn't uh, a Pokemon game, it just came crashing back down. And I remember thinking, like, I was talking to one of my friends at the time. He's like, do you see how a Nintendo stock is doing today? And uh, as you know, Nintendo's a Japanese company. I, it's a little harder for Americans or, or foreign foreign uh, stock exchanges to exchange in it. But I, I just thought it was a really funny thing to watch it just absolutely spike and then come crashing down. <laughs> uh, it didn't crash. It just came back to where it was before. Uh, that's pretty funny. Pop this open. I like this little pen too. A little shiny Eevee for you. You can pin it on. Bring it over here with my other ones. I'm going to bring the Team Instinct badge out to wear uh, for future openings because, you know, gotta rep Spark. You know, he's the underdog, just like I've always felt like, you know. But Radiant Eevee, I love the crosshatch um, hollow on there as well as the texture. Like, it's beautiful. And I'm really happy that they made it a promo because there's enough chase. They, they lowered the pull rates for the English set. Um, and this will get you a card no matter what. And here you go with the code card for it. And I think it's just really cool. Little white Eevee. And uh, I'm gonna put this in a sleeve really quick just cause I, I like it so much. I have pulled all of the Radiance. The Charizard I got was woefully off center. This one's not very centered as well. But um, I've pulled three Radiant Venusaurs, uh, two, sorry, excuse me, four Radiant Venusaurs, two Radiant Blastoises, and one Radiant Charizard. Eight packs in here. And a bunch of plastic that we're going to put over there. And this really cool mat that I'm going to quick switch out this one with so I have something to rest my keyboard on over at my PC. Do a quick switcheroo. I love it. So I'm going to bring the packs back over. See? This one, I just made my camera rock like a million miles an hour. <laughs> Hopefully this one has quite a few more pulls for us because I want to, you all to see the beautiful cards in the set and have them also for my personal collection. There is the card. Oh man, what the heck is up with these cards? I'm so, like all of them, this one has, they have like this weird ridge. I don't think you'll be able to see it because I don't have a high enough quality camera. But it's just like they have like a lip almost on the end that you can run your finger along. And I think 
I may have ruined this already, but I did the card trick again. I said I wasn't going to. Wimpod, Pikachu. I think I'm going to have a V card here. I better not be slacking V. Mail Metal. Meltan, excuse me. <gasps> oh, trolled! <laughs> it's the regular Numo Reverse. I need the ditto. And, yep, Dragonite V. Man, he looking like Bruce Lee over there. Uh, no pun, no, no rhyme intended, but, you know, cool card. Got a few of them. You match our other Dragonite V star. Now we just need to pull uh, the rainbow or the gold, and I will be set. Can't complain about a V card, though. Looking good. All right. Maybe this is a weird crimp on these as well. You can find these boxes for, I don't know, they're normally around 50. I haven't seen them much lower. I've seen them around 48 for the EV boxes. Uh, but I think just because it comes with so much more that it's... There's a code card for this one. Not doing the card trick. I'm not, I said I wasn't. Rattata. Badoof. Charmander. Apom. Oh, slipped over it. Meltan. And another Blastoise. All right, we got six to go. It's been a good opening so far. I mean, I really enjoy opening these regardless. I mean, it's just fun. I like, and if that I can share it with you, maybe give you something too, give you some tips that you haven't heard of. Let's share my stories with you all about Pokemon. Hey guys, please remember to like the video, comment below what your favorite moment was, and subscribe so I can help grow my channel and make this a community that we can all enjoy. Thanks. Say hi to my dog, Hunter. Fighting energy. Egg Incubator, Soul Rock, Spark My Man, Ambipom, Slowpoke, A Barrel, Pikachu, Spinarak, Ooh, we got a Tranquil, and another Dragonite V. Man, the Dragonite is loving me today. So, you know, it's, it is nighttime right now, so, and this is not Dragon On, but uh, you know what is Dragon? We'll get in <laughs> more packs. Now, this one we will be halfway. There you go. Code card. Not doing the card trick. I almost did it again. Badoof. And this hit is a little small, so it does get a little repetitive, so that's why I'm not really doing that. Ariados and a Snorlax. Yeah, that's like my dog laying in front of the thing. I have two large dogs, and if they lay in front of a door, you're not getting out of the room. All right, all right, halfway through, four packs left. Let's pull a secret rare or a hyper rare. I just want one of the trainers, hopefully Spark. He's my man. And I'll take Blanche or Candela. I could live without the lure module, but it's still a cool card. Cute. Not doing it. Habits die hard. I do it by myself even, just alone. Don't need to. Charmander, Apom, Bulbasaur, Magikarp, and a Charizard. So first Zard pull of the day, a Hollow. Uh, not the best, but you know, still cool. Water Energy, and Puppetar. Three packs left. Radiant would be really nice too. Those are worth pretty some significant cash still, and I think they're going to be Really cool cards to keep in the collection and get graded as well. There's your code card. Back over. Tranquil. Bulbasaur. Natu. Ambipom. Slowpoke. A Reverse. Hollow Blissey. And Zapdos. Man, not my night, but you know, we'll do it. At this rate, I'm going to have to open up another ETB just to feel good about myself. <laughs> Got two packs left. Maybe that can turn around. Here we go. Alright, that to Amber Palm, Slowpoke, left. Reverse Hollow Steelix, and an Executor V. That's the only other one I don't have in a full art. That's the one I don't have in a full art. 
So I do have them in that, and I do have the promo as well. I did pull some good cards. I pulled the secret rare, uh, the, the gold incubator from an executor box. So, you know, it's the only one I've opened of it. It's a good pull. The guy at the shop, too, said people get good pulls out of it, and he was right. So always trust the employees. So they're not trying to make a sale or anything. There we go. And last one, we'll do a cartridge from the last one, just cause. Fire Energy, Egg Incubator, War Turtle, Moon Pheasant, Meltan, Pikachu, Wimpod, Bulbasaur, Numel, Bulbasaur again, and the really cool Hollow Gyarados. Holy cow, I don't think we got a single full art, and I think we got three Vs. We got the Executor V and the two Dragonite Vs. Where'd they go? That was a bit of a a bit of a letdown, but we did always still get the Radiant Eevee card, which is a big one. I love this card. Uh, great addition to the collection. So, you know, not the greatest pulls today, but still fun showing off some of the cards for y'all. So, thank you so much, and I'll be out there for the intro. Thank you so much again for watching my Pokemon Go video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for a chance to win this great chunk of chew. That's going to be my first giveaway on YouTube. I'll be going live on Instagram as well every Saturday to do openings at Hansbaum underscore TCG. I'll put the link in the description as well as my eBay store. Thank you so much and look forward to more affordability tips in the future. Thanks.